This department considers technology to be uh, an, a material with which to make fine art. It's a department that thinks about the material philosophically and thinks about it critically. And it involves everything from creative coding to bio art to olfactory art. Not only do we have a long history going back to 1969, we're the first program in the country to teach this discipline, but we continuously reinvent ourselves. Uh, we work bottom up. They get under the hood and they hack, they hybridize, they experiment, they create sometimes their own media materials and their own demos because what they want to demonstrate doesn't exist out there. There is a lot of room here in SCIC to do kind of whatever you want and do whatever you need. I get to do and like jump around at each depart like department, try new things, add new like materials to like my overall kind of my work. So I've been doing a lot of tests in terms of with a uh, material with neon and also casting neon in resin. Um, really interested in kind of like uh, manipulating diffracting light in certain ways uh, by encasing neon in certain materials. What we find if you look around at the faculty and the students is that a lot of us have one foot in, for instance, creative coding, but another foot in uh, sculpture. Someone has one foot in game design, yet another foot in sound design. One thing we all have in common, even though we all have different interests, is that uh, we are all like equal parts uh, poetry and savvy. And we're all very curious too. We've been doing virtual reality in one way or another for 20 years. So we have our black box space where people can work with new technologies around virtual and augmented reality. We have all kinds of laboratories and studios and contexts for making work that cover like the whole spectrum of old technology to the cutting edge technology. SAIC stood out for me because of its right mix of theory and practical knowledge. It's just not about making, it's also about realizing why you're making things and putting it in words and explaining it and talking about that feeling of why you're making it. So these critical discussions that we engage in with our advisors and our peers really help us understand what is the purpose of our art practice. We have common goals for our students. We want them to be radically innovative and we want them to be fearlessly experimental and we want them to constantly ask questions and to constantly seek the answer to those questions through their making.